Big changes are coming for Tesla's autopilot and full self-driving software and hardware including potential price changes. And Tesla's official removal of radar from the new Model 3s and Model Ys. Let's discuss all these changes and the huge implications that they have for Tesla's future. So let's get started. Tesla just published a blog post officially announcing their removal of the radar sensors from the Model 3s and Model Ys that are currently being manufactured for the North American market. Let's dive into the highlights of that blog post. In the first section of the post, Tesla says beginning with deliveries in May of 2021. Model 3 and Model Y vehicles built for the North American market will no longer be equipped with radar. Instead, these will be the first Tesla vehicles to rely on camera vision and neural net processing to deliver autopilot, full self-driving and certain active safety features. Tesla also mentioned that there would be a temporary loss of a few features during the transition for a short period. During this transition cars, with Tesla Vision may be delivered with some features temporarily limited or inactive including, auto steer, will be limited to a maximum speed of 75 miles per hour and a longer minimum following distance. Smart summon, if equipped, and emergency lane departure avoidance may be disabled at delivery. This is of course temporary and these features should be brought back very shortly. We believe they need to make sure they're completely safe before they roll it out to everyone, and they go on and describe this when they say. In the weeks ahead we'll start restoring these features via a series of over-the-air software updates. All other available autopilot and full self-driving features will be active at delivery, depending on order configuration. Now the removal of the radar from their vehicles only includes the North American market and only the Model 3 and the Model Y, not the Model S and the Model X. Tesla mentions this by saying, all new Model S and Model X, as well as all vehicles built for markets outside North America, will continue to be equipped with radar and will have radar-supported autopilot functionality until we determine the appropriate time to transition these vehicles to Tesla Vision. About a day before, Tesla put out this blog post. Tesla changed a web page that talks about autopilot and full self-driving on the Model 3 and Model Y website. And as you can see here, instead of talking about radar it talks about 250 meters of powerful visual processing. Now this term Tesla Vision is a term that Tesla started to use, and it just simply describes their camera-based system, as opposed to a radar-enhanced system, or as some companies have a lighter, radar and camera system. Tesla Vision encompasses not only the cameras, but also the neural net connected to that. That they're currently training to be able to recognize objects and drive in the real world with camera vision alone. Now we already knew, thanks to a tweet from Elon Musk in March, that Tesla was going to be moving away from their reliance on radar and moving to camera-based vision system only. However, we didn't expect it to happen this quickly with the actual removal of radar sensors from the car. Now of course anytime someone makes a bold move, like Elon Musk is making right now, and Tesla is making, by removing radar from their cars, there's going to be a lot of criticism, and a lot of people have opinions about this topic. So when it comes to the leading companies that are working to develop full self-driving systems, Tesla is the only one that does not use lighter. Tesla is now taking this a step further by not even using radar. Now the main three sensors that companies are putting on their full self-driving cars are cameras, lighter and radar. Each one of these, of course, has some positives and some negatives. For instance, cameras have a very low cost and they're able to recognize objects better and potentially read signs, however as a negative, there's a huge amount of work and AI training needed for them to work properly. Lighter on the other hand, has a lot of precision and accuracy, however due to its high cost and the fact that it doesn't function very well in bad weather, this makes lighter sensors, especially Elon Musk's mind, not really the best sensor for full self-driving. Radars on the other hand function very well in bad weather, however they can suffer from interference and we believe this is what has led to phantom braking in Teslas in the past. Now ultimately, 
Whatever your opinion on Tesla removing radar sensors from their cars, when it really comes down to it as Elon Musk and Andre Karpathy have reiterated multiple times humans currently drive with vision alone, and also our current road systems are designed for humans that are using vision. So therefore a car with cameras all around the vehicle and 360 degree vision, as well as the fact that the car is never going to be distracted and not paying attention. This makes it possible, we believe for a car, to safely drive itself with a camera-based vision system alone, as long as the hard work is done on the back end to train the neural net. We believe with Tesla's impressive neural net that they'll be able to have a system rolled out in just a few weeks that will be much safer than a human driver already. And you'll be orders of magnitude safer than humans in the not-too-distant future. A lot of people criticize Elon Musk in the past, and they said that lighter was necessary for the kind of precision that you need for a truly safe full self-driving vehicle. However, as this clean technical article pointed out in the past, Tesla has achieved the accuracy of lighter with his advanced computer vision tech. Now as we mentioned earlier, when it comes to companies that are currently trying to develop full self-driving vehicles, Tesla is the only one that does not use lighter sensors on their vehicles. Mobileye, one of the leading advanced driver assistance systems, or ADAS system, suppliers are currently rolling out a camera-only ADAS system that they're calling supervision. And while this is very impressive we believe, and is taking vision a lot further than most companies, Mobileye still believe that lighter is necessary for a truly safe full self-driving system. The chief technology officer at Facebook recently commented about Tesla's moving away from radar to a camera-based vision system alone. He mentioned, given Tesla's ability to capture and label data at fleet-wide scale this is a smart approach. Computer vision continues to advance quickly, and we have a proof point in that human drivers don't need radar. He also pointed out that sensor fusion is hard, meaning using radars and cameras to tell the car what to do. The radar thinks you're going to hit something, the cameras say otherwise, how do you know who's right? So we believe this is one of the big reasons why Elon Musk and Tesla are moving away from radar sensors in their vehicle and switching over to Tesla Vision alone because of this issue of sensor fusion. Now what about really bad weather and strange corner cases? Will Tesla's vision-based system be able to handle these? Elon Musk recently tweeted about this, saying almost ready with full self-driving beta version 9.0. Step change improvement is massive, especially for weird corner cases and bad weather. Pure vision no radar. Elon Musk also recently tweeted out some more updates about Tesla's full self-driving software. He mentioned that Pure Vision Autopilot is currently rolling out in North America. He also mentioned that full self-driving, beta version 9.0, would be rolling out in approximately three weeks. And at the same time they plan to roll out full self-driving subscriptions as well. Now in the past, Elon Musk said on Twitter that buying full self-driving outright would be the better long-term deal versus the full self-driving subscription. We'll give some estimates in just a minute for what we believe the monthly costs will be for the full self-driving subscriptions. But there were some leaks recently that made it appear like Tesla is going to increase the outright purchase price of full self-driving from $10,000 to around $14,000. A Reddit user recently posted some source code from their Tesla account. And in that source code it showed that Enhanced Autopilot will likely be coming back for $4,000 and full self-driving will apparently be $14,000. So it appears like Tesla is going to keep basic autopilot free still, but they're going to add another layer which they did in the past called enhanced autopilot, and we'll talk about the feature differences in just a minute. And that'll be $4,000, and then they're going to add another level on top of that, where full self-driving is an additional $10,000 on top of the $4,000. So if you want the full self-driving program and you have just basic autopilot alone, that'll cost you $14,000 to upgrade to full self-driving. So if the ability to purchase autopilot for $10,000 at the time of purchase. 
If you finance your vehicle for 6 years or 72 months and you divide that cost into the term of your loan, that equates to paying around $139 per month for full self-driving. If the price does go up to $14,000 during that same 72 months, this would equate to paying roughly $194 per month. So if the outright purchase is a better deal than the subscription, it makes sense that the price will most certainly be more than $200 and could be closer to $300 per month for full self-driving. Now, while full self-driving at $14,000 or somewhere near $300 a month is really expensive, we are really glad that they're going to offer a cheaper option enhanced autopilot that will have some really important features that most people will probably want. When you look at the side-by-side -side comparison of what's included with basic autopilot enhanced autopilot and full self-driving, you can see that Enhanced Autopilot adds Navigate on Autopilot and Auto Lane Changing on the Highway, Advanced Summon and also Auto Park to the features of the basic autopilot. Full Self Driving on the other hand, adds Traffic Light and Stop Sign Control, will soon allow auto steering on city streets, which is currently in beta and will be necessary if you want your car to fully drive itself in the future. So in summary, Tesla's move away from radar to camera vision only is a very bold move. This is made possible by all the excellent work from the Tesla Autopilot team of engineers and also all the Tesla drivers who have helped train their neural nets. Ultimately we believe Tesla will defy what many experts believe is possible and we'll be able to roll out a full self-driving, a truly safe full self-driving system that uses camera vision alone. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.